Uh, what I'm going to show you is how most of these, the Mumford, uh, the that Augusta model, but uh, I'm going to show you the Mumford um, uh, vacuum erection pump. And they all come in a nice, discreet, black, kind of ditty, almost toiletry bag. God knows it can double as a toiletry bag and, and so on. And I've already taken it out of the uh, packaging. Everything comes wrapped in plastic in a separate bag and so on. We're going to look at the pieces we went over uh, originally. So we have a six cylinder, okay? You have one end that is clearly where the pump goes on, and therefore the other end is where the penis goes on. There's not a lot of options here. They usually make these as one-step connections. So as they showed you in that uh, video there, lining things up, you have on each side, you have one of these little tabs. There's one on the other side there as well. Got to line my camera up so you can sort of see. And there's going to be the two slots where they go into. There's not a lot of options, and it doesn't matter whether you do it this way or this way. It's a, it's a circle. It spins around. It's going to push straight in, in the tabs along here. And then you can going to see you're going to slide and twist it till it goes all the way around to give a lock where the little, the little nub that was sticking off the white pump end has now slid over onto the cylinder into the end of it. That's also going to ensure that the rubber seal is in, this red rubber ring is in far enough uh, to create uh, a seal in a vacuum. And I'm just going to undo it for you. It just untwists the other way and pulls out. This rubber ring, I tell my patients, like any kind of rubber ring on sinks and stuff like that, eventually the rubber can dry out. Most of the time, these companies, if you needed it, will... Uh, you can buy replacement parts for uh, for the pumps and so on. The customer service is usually very good. They also recommend putting a little bit of just Vaseline or Aquaphor kind of petroleum jelly on this just to keep it moist and lubricated so it doesn't get dried out and then crack and fall apart. So I'm going to put the pump back on again. Again, a little twist and it's on. And then um, I'll show you how the pump works. So let's look. I'm going to put this down for a moment. Oops, sorry, I should sit back a little. And let's look at the um, the uh, other pieces that come in here. So the sleeves. We have uh, the plant, the rubbery kind of soft plastic sleeves that go on. They have a larger one than one that's tapered down. You can see a little bit there for a smaller one, and then we have the sort of uh, um, cone that allows us to slip the constriction ring onto the pump. And I'm going to show you how do these, these things go back together. Um, we have a instructional CD. We have the instructional manual. At the back of the manual is that um, uh, constriction ring sizing device again, and it, it'll tell you on there, but remember this is for the flaccid, not the erect penis that you're using to measure. So you're really going to slide your penis in and that gives you a, uh, a ring number and they give you these rings. Um, we can see here and open up the bag from the smaller number four, and I'm going to go for just size uh, difference here to the larger number seven in my hand. And you can see the, the size of the ring. You're gonna use your fingers to pull it out. And you know these are things that and we, we also use and recommend. They just get the constriction rings because they're able to get a good erection, but they can't maintain it. And that's really their issue, um, or at least a decent enough erection. And again, we could use just the constriction ring. We could use that in combination with uh, something like Cialis, Viagra, and so on. And in the instruction manual, it's going to go through, uh, explain to you all the pieces I went through, and it's going to show you in uh, some instructions uh, of how to use and, and put together the device, which I'm showing you right now. The last thing that comes with it is, uh, is sort of a, a basic KY kind of lubricant. You can buy KY, you can buy the generic brand of KY like we use in our offices and so on, uh, but you want a water-soluble lubricant. You don't want a silicone-based lubricant like Astroglide and WET and many of the most other lubricants that are out there. 
um, because you don't want all the gumminess and so on. The water-soluble lubricant, as it gets in the cylinder, when you take it apart and take the top off, again, I tell my patients to just run super hot water through it, maybe use your finger to clean it out. Occasionally, you can use some soap. Um, probably wouldn't put it in the dishwasher, check with the company, but I wouldn't put plastic like this in the dishwasher. Um, but the hot water should wash all the lube off. So um, the conical cylinder can fit onto the end, uh, sorry, the, the cone, which is the loader of the ring, can fit onto the end itself. If you didn't want to use any of those a sleeve attachments, you have the larger sleeve attachment, and these just uh, slide and cinch on. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate with the smaller, the tapered down sleeve attachment and so on. And that one just kind of pops on with a, a little snap, so it kind of holds it in place. This allows you something a little softer, a little more rubbery to kind of uh, help with the seal. Again, not that it's a need to really push down hard. And I will tell some patients, if they're not getting a good enough seal with just this, they can put a little lube on the outside. So I have my little model here to demonstrate with and so on. So the penis is going to go inside the, um, the device. And so again, I recommend uh, standing up or laying down as opposed to seeing where all the skin is going to wrinkle up and making it difficult. So you can see that, you know, someone maybe with a flaccid penis this size, thickness wise, they might be okay with the bigger ring. They could be okay with no uh, uh, sleeve on the end. And it's whatever works for them. Again, if the skin is getting pulled, uh, how can I show this? If the skin or the testicles kind of getting pulled inside, a better, tighter taper um, is going to help prevent that. And that's what's going to make it more comfortable. So once the penis is inside, and I'm trying to show this from the side here, and you get that gentle seal, this is rubbery, so it's not the normal. Uh, body here, so you may see me, don't look down at it, I'm not gonna push as hard. One hand's gonna be here, the other, that's really all you need. You don't need to hold the penis. One of the things that I've learned myself and from patients, I've certainly tested one of these, not this one, but one of these uh, myself, is because I think as a, as a man, I need to be able to really understand, I need in the past, long ago, I needed to understand how this device works to really be at best be able to explain this to my patients. And sometimes the penis is not, certainly not in the rec state yet, but it may not be in the flaccid state. It's what, it's what we as urologists call the contracted state. And when it's in the contracted state, I kind of use the uh, example of, if you remember when you were uh, younger, maybe, or even now, if you're active enough and you're playing sports, let's say soccer or football, and you wear a cup as a man, and everything kind of gets squished down inside there. Uh, and uh, uh, we like to joke around, uh, if anyone's a Seinfeld fan, the George Costanza, I was in the pool episode, um, one of my favorite. And so when the penis is kind of really contracted down and small, and there's not a, a lot of blood is all pushed out. If you go to put the penis in there, and again, we get a little bit, the penis is going to be sort of bent over and so on, I find is going to drag up the side. So when I tell patients that, I tell them if it's kind of in that contracted state to just give the pump a couple of, a couple of pumps, not to bring the penis fully erect, but just to bring a little bit of blood to get a little more body into the penis. So now you can maybe better reposition yourself to get the penis lined up so that it's in the middle of the pump. And remember, we talked about also putting some lube around the head of the penis so that it can glide up the pump more easily. So see how this works. So when we start pumping, I think, again, the device is made to hold in your hand like this, two or three fingers on the pump itself. See me here, we've got a, a, and kind of gripping it like a gun and so on, and uh, the pinky down below. But the thumb is really what holds it on and so on. So you really just need a little bit of that manual dexterity, otherwise you can have your partner do it with you. So we're gonna get that seal on the base, and as we start pumping, it's going to take a few pumps. 
Again, I don't think Mr. Rubber Penis is the best one to show us. Um, but as we do that, sorry, I did, get, I did get a seal, but not the best expansion. We're going to see the penis start to expand and grow up and out of the pump. And yes, I've actually had a couple of patients that have complained to me that they were having pain with the pump at the end. And after fully understanding it, the penis was hitting the end of the pump. And they actually do have an extended cylinder that can work for a guy who's very well endowed, uh, again, to be able still to be able to use this device uh, functionally and so on. So we'll see the penis expand. Now, if we're just doing the therapy part, we're going to leave it up for a minute and then we're going to hit the release valve button at the top and release the suction. And again, I said you don't have to pull it off if you don't want because you're only gonna wait about 30, 40 seconds to do it again. Um, so you can leave it in place and then do the same thing again with the pump and you know, follow the instructions that we give you um, on doing those. Now, if we are using the pump for sexual activity, then most likely that man is not able to maintain the erection. That means we're gonna need to use one of these constriction rings. Now it's easier to load the ring on, much easier with the pump and off, okay? Because you're gonna stand the pump on a table, a counter, something solid, and you're gonna put the, attach the, the, the cone onto the top, and you're gonna take the ring, and you're gonna pull it down the cone until it snaps over the cone onto the lower part and then the cone comes off. It's just to help load on the ring. Then we're gonna uh, put our pump back on as if we were assembling. Now, once the penis is in and the penis is brought erect, you're gonna, you can actually let go of the pump. If you have a good seal, the pump will literally kind of swing on, on the base of the body and it's going to put enough seal, and then you're going to bring the constriction ring down, and it's going to come onto the bottom base of the penis. Now, there are multiple types of constriction rings. There are the toy kind and the vibrating kind. Certainly can be used with this. No one's saying you have to buy those, but these are more the medical kind that have that are tighter, that are going to have the sides to pull. Some are just a ring, and you can try looser ones. Um, or just larger versions of these rings. This is the largest one that I chose to make it easy for me uh, to show you, but any of these rings will work. This is, uh, this is really it. This is the device, this is the pump. And while I kind of broke it down into a lot of steps, you know, there's not a lot to it. If you found this video helpful and want to stay in the loop with our growing men's health community, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Your support makes it easier for other men like you to find these helpful resources. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again.